Hello and welcome to a new player review. So we are almost at the end of Footmas. We are on the ninth day or tenth day of Footmas, and today we got Footmas Isoko and Footmas Mendy. Now, obviously, Mendy is another great card, like everybody was waiting for. Uh, at the first glance, I saw him. It looked expensive, but not that expensive. Uh, but I went ahead and did this uh, Davis and Sanchez for a couple of reasons. First of all, you don't have that many great options for a center back in the Prem. Although everybody is rocking a lot of Prem players, you don't get many options uh, as of right now to get a good center back. Um, the best center back will be Virgil, which is about 500k. And the other option will be that screen Matamendi, which is half the price, I think, somewhere around 250k. Uh, the other great center back would have been that Joe Gomez, but that was an SPC. For those that didn't complete him, um, they can't get him anymore. So realistically, you only get like those two center backs. I don't know if I'm missing somebody else. I don't think I am. So I went ahead and completed him. He looks to be somewhere around the 50 to 60k area, area. for an 85 Sanchez. I think that's a good deal to get. So we look at this card, 187, like 6'2", medium high work rates, which is very good for a center back with a three star weak foot, which is good. Skill moves, you don't really need him in your center back. Um, his details here, as we already have applied a shadow, which should be the best, the best chem style to apply to this guy uh, because of his lack of acceleration. Uh, he has 76 overall pace with 69 acceleration and 81 sprint speed. So with the shadow that we applied, we will get um, 784 acceleration, which is very nice now, and 91 sprint speed, uh, which is very good. Uh, we skip the shooting. His passing is not really good. The only thing that's good is the short pass, uh, which is the main stat that will matter for you with your center back. As soon as you get the ball, you pass it somewhere around um, or away from the area. His dribbling stats, uh, his agility and balance are very low, but uh, we've seen quite a few cards with low agility and balance and you don't get that feeling in game that's why i went ahead and did this card if you rely on the face stats and you don't get to test them you don't really see how this card plays in game so uh, the stats are low there um you could probably maybe boost them a little bit with maybe like an engine but uh, you will lose a lot of pace um you will only get like five accelerations so that will go to 74 and i don't know 74 acceleration will be a good viable option for a center back at this stage in the game. Uh, his reactions is very nice, 81. His ball control is good, 75. His dribbling is low at 64, and his composure is 77. Now his defending stats are very good. Uh, 83 interceptions, 81 heading accuracy, 83 defensive awareness, 86 standing tackle, and 88 slide tackle. And we always max them out in, into the 90s with uh, the shadow that we applied. They go to 93 interceptions, uh, 86 heading, 93 defensive awareness, 91 standing tackle, and 99 slide tackle. Uh, his physicals are good as they stand, so you don't really need that much improvement there. With 77 jumping, he's tall uh, anyway, so even with 77 jumping, he should be jumping very high. Uh, stamina 77, which is good for a center back. Um, the center backs don't um, consume that much stamina because they don't run around that much. Uh, strength 86 and aggression 90. This is a very strong and aggressive center back big and tall so should feel like a rock on your defense so it looks uh, good it looks fantastic actually um like i said if you want to nitpick um, a, a card you'll always find a flaw but um, most of the cards if you don't get to play them in game uh, you don't get a good sense of how the actual actual card plays in the game so with that in mind we'll go into a couple of uh, foot champions games um we don't need to change uh, the formation that we usually do because he's a center back we can't change him into another position realistically so we'll go into a couple of games and test this guy out uh this is the team i put this um ruben nevis here just for the chem as soon as the game starts i'm going to swap him out for maybe griezmann or simon or something like that and uh play the game so here we go with our first opponent, a uh, nice prem team with a La Liga backline uh, with that new Mendy, well, soon to be old Mendy gold card with the new fitness Mendy but that I think everybody should go do probably, uh, depending on the price, like I said. Uh, so let's uh, have a look at this Sanchez and see how uh, his defense um, plays in this game. All right, come on, Sanchez. No, not good tracking there. But Robertson is there to clear it. There he is. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. 
How did that go in? Oh. there. What? Come on, Sanchez. You can do it. Yes, good tackle. do this now yes yes oh my god i'm gonna lose this game because of the lag i don't know if you can tell but the input is so delayed there he is get him get him yes nice tackle get him sanchez get him Yes. Oh, what a goal. What a shot by Politano. We get a rage quit. All right, so we get a rage quit in the first game. Uh, it's all right. We played most of the game. Uh, let's see. We get a 7.8 uh, rating for Sanchez, which is uh, the biggest from all the defensive back line. Let's check out... Um, 11 on 11 passes, 10 on 10 dribbles, and one on four tackles. We had that one successful tackle in the second half. Like I said, the first uh, tackles in the first half was probably due to me um, going in too late uh, to tackle. So yeah, uh, happy with the first game. He feels like a big, strong player. Ferdinand is very uh, fast for me and agile. So I need another uh, good, big defender. So far, I've been using other defenders that are also agile, and I think the good pairing is to have a big, strong defender and a kind of a very fast, sort of agile, um, not smaller, but more agile defender next to him. So let's go into a second game and uh, have another test with this uh, Sanchez. All right, so here we go with our second game. Uh, kind of a mixed team there with Clive Vardy. That loan's done, that everybody got. Mertens, um, good CBMs. Uh, good basic back line. We'll see how we do in this game as well and see how Sanchez does in this game. Oh man, the game feels really heavy again. Oh, really bad. The game's really bad at the moment. It's really bad. I can't really move at all. I shouldn't have gone into the second game. There we go. Again, the usual suspect, Matteo Politano. There we go. 2 1 again with Politano. All right, and then let's have a quick look at his stats. What do we have? Three and three passes, three and three dribbles, and no tackles. As I said, there wasn't too much work to do defensively. Sanchez, let's see if we have any work in the second half. Yes, step in. Oh, come on. Get back. Good. There it is. Oh, what a goal. What a volley. Yes, good. Good Sanchez. Very good. see his speed now. I was good enough to stop him. And that's game. So, uh, another win. 
Let's check out uh, Sanchez, 6 on 6 passes, 6 on 6 dribbles, and 1 on 2 tackles. Uh, better this time, but not too much work. But I think the work he did was uh, quite good. Um, uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. So let's go back and have a look at this card. So, uh, Davidson Sanchez. Um, I liked him. I like this card uh, for what he is. He's a good center back in the Premier League, which is uh, a league that is lacking good center backs. And now, like I said at the beginning, you only have an option of uh, VVD and that Scream Atamendi, which are probably the two best um, cards, uh, center back cards that you can get right now. Um, not counting SPC Gomez because that card is no longer attainable. Only those that did him, good for you. Um, so you can no longer get that card. So there's only those two cards. The rest of them are normal gold cards that are not really playable uh, in this meta. Uh, this Sanchez uh, from his 83 has a good upgrade. Uh, although I thought uh, that he should have gotten a bit more in pace, uh, maybe to a 78 or something like that. They should have upped his pace. Uh, but still, it's a good upgrade. Uh, like you can see with his shadow, he goes to 84 acceleration and 91 sprint speed, which is uh, fantastic. It's um, fast enough. Uh, probably would have wanted a bit more acceleration, but uh, like you saw in the game and maybe in that um, last chance my opponent had, his speed is there. He run down the opponent and he, he cut his uh, lane where he was running so the opponent had to stop and turn back, which is basically what you would want from your center back there. When your opponent is going on the counter attack, uh, you'll know that everybody that did that PK um, a few weeks ago uh, or months ago, I can't remember when it was, um, uh, those guys that did him were saying how good he was. Those that didn't do him were saying how bad he was. But when you play against him in a game, you can see how good that PK is. And uh, he's a big, tall, strong center back, uh, not a small agile that everybody wants to use. So for me, it's a, it's a much needed center back. I really liked him. Uh, for me, it was a center back that I wanted to get. So I can also go into a Prem hybrid if I want to go into that because I didn't have any good Premier League center backs that I can get that were cheap. And with that new Sissoko uh, that came out yesterday, and I know a lot of people uh, did him, you get that strong link here, you get that strong link to Sun, so there's a lot of options uh, with this card to do. Um, his price, like I said, should be around 50 to 60k, and I think 50 to 60k is a card that you want to do, especially for a center back in the Prem. If you look past the uh, agility and balance, uh, which like the Sissoko yesterday also had, but people said, you know, uh, you won't notice it in game and realistically uh, I played him and I didn't notice uh, the lack of agility or balance in Sissoko as well. I also didn't notice it as much. You will feel that this card is uh, a truck when you sort of try to turn him but uh, his defensive uh, stats are there, his awareness, his interceptions, his strength is there so it will be kind of hard for your opponent to uh, get past this guy. Um, I like this card. I think it is a card that you should do. Remember that these are SPCs for 24 hours. If you don't do it, then you regret it. I think this is a card I can do. No, I might not use him now, but maybe uh, when I switch my team around, when I want to get that BVD, I can put him in with Sanchez and I can put that David De Gea uh, like I did. It was the first time I played that David De Gea and I really wanted to play him in the team. And uh, he will give you options now and in the future when you try to um, uh, change uh, stuff in your team. So for 50 or 60k, I would say that this is definitely a card that you need to go and do. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.